Oh, it's not a bed. It is a bed as well. Cheeky little K20, isn't it? Fist bump for George. <laughs> Yes guys, welcome back to another episode. You join me on a uh, Wednesday afternoon. Luckily, finished work a little bit early today, so I've got some time. Tonight, we're heading down to VTech Monkeys and getting the calipers finally fitted that AC Alloys did for me. VTech Monkeys um, kindly sorted me out some fully refurbished calipers, brand new pistons, brand new seals, brand new sliders, everything, they looked amazing. And AC Alloys took them away painted them cosmic grey and made the Thai Par badge the same colour as my alloys. They look absolutely amazing. So finally, I've had these for like two or three months now and finally we're getting them fitted to the car. So yeah, we're heading down to VTech Monkeys tonight. We're gonna check out their, uh, their sick builds down there. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a video you wanna watch because they've got some amazing cars down there. Load of track civics and stuff like that. We are filming on a new camera today. Yesterday, I decided to treat myself to a new camera. I got the Canon M50, which is a bit of a uh, bit of a bigger camera, but it's still, um, it's kind of like a G7X on steroids. It's pretty sick. So if you let, if, if you think the quality is a lot better and the lighting and focus and stuff, then just let me know down below because this has been voted for one of the best vlogging cameras that you can buy. Either way, I'm just gonna head home now. The EP3's back on the road, guys. We've, uh, we've insured the EP3 again, sold the Ibiza. So I may look at saving up for an MX-5. I know I've lot, a lot of you really did want me to get one when I mentioned it in the last video. So that might be something coming in the new year. I'm not sure yet. So I'm back daily in the EP3 and oh my God, I've missed it. Like the car feels so good. It is, it's crazy when you drive a, a normal car, sh shall we say, and then you jump in something like this, you really do appreciate it again. I absolutely love it. Let's get some pop and bangs on the go. Yeah, we're heading home now. Uh, what I'll do when I get home, I'll go dig the calipers out, uh, show you what they look like, because like I said, they really do look really, really good. I want to say a big, big shout out to obviously VTech Monkeys for supplying these and obviously fitting them later. And a uh, big shout out to Andy, AC Alloys, for painting them. He did an amazing job. Like I knew Andy was good, but I didn't know he was that good. You'll know why when I show you when we get home. So yeah, I'm just going to sit in some traffic for a few hours and uh, I'll pick the video up when we get home. So for those that haven't seen the calipers, these are what AC Alloys painted for me. They're the caliper brackets and then the actual calipers themselves. Oh, look at them. Absolute caliper porn. <whistles> Done such an amazing job. Cosmic grey and then the um, same colour as my alloys. Obviously we've got the new uh, pistons in there, new sliders. So... These are going to work properly this time and not screech, I hope. <laughs> right, let's hit the road. So VTEC Monkeys is about an hour away. Hopefully we don't hit rush hour traffic. It's absolutely horrible around here. I think it says it's going to take about an hour to get there. So I guess we'll just pick the video up when we get there. Okay, so a lot of you would have probably heard of VTech Monkey. So this is VTech Monkey slash 10 Sport. Um, do all the work on the Hondas. And uh, what VTech Monkeys is, he's like a breaker for Hondas. So I'll show you uh, in the back of all the all the parts he's got. This is Gaz. <laughs> this is Chris. Legend. Are they done? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> The VTech Monkeys, he, uh, he breaks Civics. Any parts you need, um, obviously I've got my calipers from him. Uh, the top notch, as you can see, literally everything. Bumpers, uh, grills, pads, lights, wing mirrors, rads, K20s, literally anything you need Honda-wise. Even got a centre consoles for like track cars and, and things like that. Literally everything here. I'll put both the links in the description. A link to Chris's 10 Sport and a link to VTech Monkeys. Anything you need, uh, just drop Gaz a message and uh, he'll sort it for you. Like I said, they've literally got everything here. Even some stereos that have come out, some other Civics. Just drop him a message. So he's going to have to bleed them obviously, but oh man, they look sick. Can't wait to see what they look like with the, uh, with the wheels on, but so far so good. Just doing the other side now look really really nice big shout out to AC Alloys for them gorgeous man gorgeous that caliper hadn't seized by the way it's just got very hot and apparently the PBS like logo does come off when the pads get a little bit hot 
Uh, I got asked if I was tanking it and I had to reply with uh, yes. So Chris has got this really, really cool, is it, was it Honda Step Wagon? Step Wagon, yeah. Honda Step Wagon, look at this. I've never ever seen one of these. So sick. <laughs> look at that. Obviously it's imported from uh, from Japan. Let's have a look at the interior. Oh, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like the logo inside. Very similar to uh, my old Honda logo. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's sick. Honda step wagon. Don't think many of you have seen one of these, but very, very cool, very different. The party trick. Yeah. Oh, it's not a bed. It is a bed as well. At look at that. <laughs> That's brilliant. I've actually, I actually love these. Like, I've just fell in love with it, I think. <laughs> That's sick. I've never ever seen one of them. How many get imported? Do you know, there can't be many over here. Not a lot. No? They weren't, they weren't offered from the dealer or anything, so you have to import them. Were they? <laughs> Literally, like, sofa bed at the back. That's so cool. Honda step wagon. <laughs> so the Civic is done. I'll just show you a couple of builds. This is a... Citroen C2, I think, C1. Um, little track car, it's got a cage in it as well. Though it's got the 10 Sport track car with the K20 in it. Then, is this an EJ9 or an EK? This, EK4? Yeah, no, no. Is it an EK4? Yeah, yeah. With a cheeky little K20 in it. And then another Civic track car. Very, very cool. I really do love them. They actually match because of grey and the, uh, the colour of the alloys very, very well. Just obviously need to get round to AC alloys and uh, get the back ones done because obviously they're red still, but they look awesome. Fish bump for George. <laughs> there you go, free delivery box for you. Right, I'll get off boys, thank you very much for that. Nice one for that. Oh mate, I'm, I'm debating that step wagon. If you do sell it, let me know. Right, just, just, yeah. Let... It's got a bloody bed in the back. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. Oh, have you seen them caught? They look sick, man. Yeah, obviously the car needs a clean. It's funny because working for a valeting company, the valeters' cars never actually get cleaned because we're always cleaning other people's cars. That's just like trick of the trade kind of thing. But no, that was really quick. Big massive thank you to Ten Sport and uh, obviously VTEC Monkeys for hooking the calipers up. Very happy with them. We've got to go see AC Alloys, Andy, and get the back ones done very soon. So yeah. Let's hit the road, let's hit the traffic once again. So, a couple of things uh, I want to go over before we uh, finish this video. Now, a couple of you on Instagram saw that I made a Patreon video where I was debating selling the EP3. Um, I've, I've kind of slapped myself in the face and woke myself up and said, look, why am I looking at selling it? I've been looking, I was looking at Subarus, I was looking at all these different cars, even, even an Evo, um, just just a, a few cars and I, and I really did sit there and think I thought you know what there's nothing at the minute that I want more than my Civic uh, I think the reason I've kind of started to uh, well I, I used to start to fall out of love with it is because the exhaust the skunk 2 system on this is just so obnoxious and so loud that it's almost made it undrivable you've really got to be in the mood to drive it so I think I'm just going to get another exhaust system put on the car one that's a little bit more quiet one that's a little bit more road friendly because this one's just too obnoxious even when you're driving it slow it's so loud everyone's looking and sometimes it is really nice to be driving and not everyone be looking at you and thinking what the bloody hell is that boy racer doing four mile an hour down the road for so yeah that's that another thing is I've had a couple of people message me on Instagram saying, oh, I've decided to unsubscribe and, and stuff like this. Now, look, if you, if you want to unsubscribe, um, I'm sorry that I let you down, but that's entirely up to you. At the minute, I work Monday to Friday. I wake up, obviously, in the morning, go to work, and by the time I finish work, it's getting dark, and I'll be sitting in traffic when it's dark on my way home. Uh, I'm, I am going to be doing, like, a day in the life at Waxing Away where I work, uh, so stay tuned for that. I think I might be filming that tomorrow. So I'm just... At the minute, I'm just trying to make videos and pick the camera up um, when and where I can as much as possible. So if you see some videos that are shorter than others, just know that 
this time being a YouTuber this time of the year is very, very difficult, especially working a full-time job. I'm trying my hardest. So if some videos are like six, seven minutes long, just know that that's all I had time to film. I literally, I, I wake up every morning, I'm falling asleep at like two o'clock in the morning because I'm staying up, editing, replying to people, get, trying to get orders out. I know some people have ordered some things and they've took ages to come and it's, it's completely my fault just because I've not got enough time on my hands. There's not enough hours in the day for me to for me to crack on with everything I'm just just know I'm doing my best I'm trying to do as much as I can so uh, I just wanted to know that I'm sorry that this time of year the content does lack and the content is not as good as what it could be but it's just very very hard this time of year with everything considered anyway I'm not sure how long this video turned out to be thank you to Chris and Gaz for hooking up the brake calipers and fitting them they look amazing gonna get in touch with Andy at AC alloy soon but yeah that's gonna do it for this video if you did enjoy it please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace